Do you know that a lot of English learners do not practice their English or speak in public because of grammar? Yes, a grammar can be complicated, especially if you don't learn it right. But the good news is it is super easy to learn grammar. Grammar and the grammatical rules are very clear if you learn them right. Know the rules and practice them right. I can guarantee that your grammar, your English will be absolutely perfect. So this course is designed to help you improve your English and speak confidently with proper grammar. If you want to improve your English, you can start right now by subscribing to this channel and following the lessons carefully and seriously and then you will dramatically improve in English grammar. So are you ready? So let's dive in. In today's lesson, you're going to learn the simple present tense. It's an easy lesson to learn. And if you follow and practice, you will never make mistakes in present simple tense. First of all, the present simple tense structure. The structure of the present simple tense is super easy. It has a subject and the infinitive verb. For example, I speak English. I is the subject, speak is the verb, and English is the object or the complement of the sentence. So it's easy. She lives in India. He speaks three languages. You read stories. They love chocolate. So these are examples. You can see all these are subjects and all these are infinitive verbs. If you notice that there is an S, sometimes we add an S to the verb. We add an S or ES to the verb when the subject is third person singular. Third person singular like he, she, it, Sam, etc. So now the question is, when can I use the present simple tense? It's easy. I'm going to give you a couple of rules. You need to learn these rules and start practicing them right. Then I can guarantee that you will be perfect. So the first rule is when you talk about habits, habits that you do, habitual actions, things that you do like a habit, like for example, uh, she smokes cigarettes. He smokes cigarettes is a habit, right? I get up early is also a habit. He gets up late is a habit. So when you talk about habits or habitual actions, you use present simple tense. So it's easy. This number one. The second rule to use the present simple tense is when you talk about general truths, facts. These facts and general truths, you only use the present simple tense. It's easy. For example, chickens are birds. Honey is sweet. The sun rises from the east. It rains a lot in India. Babies sleep a lot. These are general truths, right? So when you talk about facts, general truths, you use the present simple tense. Now we have two rules, right? Easy. When you talk about habits, when you talk about general truths or facts, you use the present simple tense, right? So it's easy. You can write some examples, write a few examples in the comment below. So I give you feedback and then I will give you feedback and correct your English. So you can practice now by writing examples. Third rule, we use the present simple tense to talk about something that you often do. For example, I always drink coffee in the morning. It's always. I often speak English with my friends. She sometimes goes to college. So if you notice that these words often, always, sometimes, rarely, seldom, never, all these words are called adverbs of a frequency. Adverbs of a frequency, when you use them in a sentence, you have to be very careful because they come before the present simple tense verb. For example, she always goes to school. Goes is the verb. So the word 
always should always come be before the, the present simple tense verb. But with verb to be, he is always nice. It's always after verb to be. And now the fourth rule. We use the, pres we use the present simple tense when we tell a story that happened in the past, but you tell it right now and you want to make it sound vivid. If you want to make your story sound like it's happening now, instead of the past tense, use the present simple tense. For example, you know what happened to me yesterday? So I'm going to tell you now a story. My father calls me and I am in the middle and, and I am in the middle of the game. I cannot go out to the supermarket. I, I tell him that, Dad, I'm sorry, I can't go there. My dad is angry. He shouts at me and tells me to get the hell out of there. So this is the story. It's all in the present simple tense, even though it happened in the past. So it's easy. You want to tell a story in the, that happened in the past? You want to make it vivid? You tell it in the present simple tense. So it's easy. The fifth rule is to express something in the future, but it's part of a schedule. For example, a train. The train leaves at 5. The train leaves at 5. It's not 5 now. Maybe it's 2 o'clock, but the train leaves at 5. We use the present simple tense because it's scheduled. The schedule, it's there, the timetable, and the train leaves at that time. So you can say the match starts at 7, the train leaves at 5. So other uses of the present simple tense, we use the present simple tense to introduce a quotation. For example, Shakespeare says, so Shakespeare says, it says in the present simple tense, hell is empty and all the devils are here. So the second rule is we use the present simple tense with the meaning in the future with in clauses of time and condition. Time and condition, like for example, if, before, after, when, for example, when he comes, we'll go together. If it rains, this is a present simple tense. If it rains, we'll stay in, at home. Then we have before he travels, we'll give him a gift. So before he travels, if it rains, when it rains, all these are in the present simple tense, but the meaning is in the future. So we use the present simple tense here. We also use the present simple tense with broadcast commentaries on sporting events. The last rule is we use the present simple tense with some certain verbs. These type of verbs are called state verbs. State means there is, there, there is no action in these verbs. For example, understand, love. These are the, these verbs that don't have any kind of action going on. So we use the present simple tense. Understand, love, prefer, recognize, see, etc. So I say, now I understand. Do not say, now I am understanding. A lot of students, they make mistake there. They say, now I am understanding. No, you say, now I understand. This is how we use the present simple tense. Simple rules, just you can follow these rules, practice right, and I can guarantee that you will improve a lot till the next week. Now, how can we make questions using the present simple tense? How can we make questions? When you make questions, we use the verb uh, do or does. Do. You can say, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Do they speak English? Do they drink coffee in the morning? So we have do. And what about does? Does we use does with third person singular? He, she, it, or a name of a person. For example, does she speak English? Remember, do not say, does she speak English? It's difficult to speak. If you want to speak smoothly, you can say, does she? Does she speak English? Does he speak English? Not, does he speak English? You will sound odd and strange and nobody speaks like that. So if you want to speak smoothly, you can say, does he? Does he speak English? Does he drink coffee? Etc. What about negative forms? In the negative form, you can 
use don't or doesn't. I don't like coffee. I don't speak English very well. I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak French. I don't like this. I don't like that, etc. With the third person singular, he, she, it, it's easy. Doesn't. She doesn't like coffee. She doesn't like tea, etc. So this is the present simple tense. It's super easy. If you know the rules now, now you know the rules. If you practice them till next week, I'm sure your English will be perfect. So if you want to practice more, if you want to practice more, you can write some examples in the comment below and I'm going to give you some feedback. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.